and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this all new video. This video is entitled The Fake Outrage of R. Kelly. Now, as of late, oh, and Happy New Year's, everybody, too. This is my first 2019 video. Now, as of late, there's been a bunch of fake social media outrage against R. Kelly based off of a documentary that he's done. And I mean that they've done anti R. Kelly video, by the way. I have an anti R. Kelly video, and it's alleged that he raped women, that he's taken women and raped them, and you know, he had a compound and all that shit there. But as I watched this documentary, no, I didn't watch the documentary clips, by the way, I didn't watch the documentary, but. I'm listening to clips and I'm looking at people on social media. They're saying that R. Kelly is a monster, which I doesn't, don't believe. They're saying all this bullshit here. And I'm going to tell you guys something about R. Kelly. First of all, this is all fake. If they really wanted to take R. Kelly down, they had years ago to do this. I've been knowing about R. Kelly, alleged of Aaliyah marriage. For years, I've been hearing about him and Aaliyah being an item since 95, believe it or not. Since like 1995, I've been hearing about them being together. And with them uh, being together, I never knew Aaliyah's age at the time. Let me just give you a little back story real quick on my not to Mark Kelly and Aaliyah's relationship. I remember when Aaliyah came out. But I never knew really her age. Because at the time that they were out, Aaliyah was out. You know, we didn't have internet back then like you do today. You didn't have no, there was no such thing as a Wikipedia. Uh, I was a kid in the 90s. So I was a teenager in junior high. And, you know, I graduated in the 90s from um, high school. So I pretty much, there was no background information, really, that you could get to like you got today. So you didn't have a YouTube, you didn't have a Wikipedia. So when I was hearing about Aaliyah and R. Kelly, it was actually through school, through rumors and through, uh, I, I, it wasn't even printed really in magazines. I, I don't recall it really being in magazines. So I never really knew the truth about Aaliyah and R. Kelly, believe it or not. Now, I started hearing things going into the 2000s, like after she died. But, you know, again, it was never determined because at the time, this was the 90s. And the 90s, the Internet was just kind of in its infancy. Not everybody had the Internet. Not everybody had social media. So it really was to a point where... You really didn't know, and I didn't know Aaliyah's age either. So, again, for a lot of years, I knew she was young back in the mid-90s. I'm talking about, like, mid, early to mid-90s, like, 94, 95. So, I really didn't know Aaliyah's age. So it was always not really known, because when Aaliyah came out, you know, we seen videos, but, you know, they didn't really discuss her age. So, I knew R. Kelly was always old. But, again, you know, then I found out that she was a teen, but still, I, I it was no evidence. So, as time went on, you had the piss video. Uh, him peeing on a little girl. That's real. That was real. That was actually, you know, they had that on the internet, it surfaced, all that shit there. Back when R. Kelly was going through trial, a lot of black people at that time defended R. Kelly. Now, lot, multiple celebrities, black celebrities, and some whites, they still supported R. Kelly with the video of him pissing on a little girl. Black women, they supported them. They said that why did the girl take money? I remember all the comments from back then from black women back then. They didn't give a fuck about that girl in uh, that video at the time. This is a fact. People like Jada Pickett, people like John Legend, and many other blacks, celebrities, they didn't give a fuck about R. Kelly and that piss video. And they still... He wrote songs for them. He still produced for them. They had hits, award shows, all that shit. They didn't have a mute R. Kelly off just that video alone. Just off that video alone that was on the internet. He even went to trial for it. Guess what? R. Kelly collaborated with even more people. He had collaborations. He made so much money. He made them money. Uh, R. Kelly made multiple entertainers money, believe it or not. Now... Let's keep going. 
Over the years, R. Kelly was producing, making hits, having concerts, selling out concerts, blowing up radio stations, appearances, all that shit there. Now, we fast forward to the Me Too movement from 2016, I mean 2017, we have the Me Too movement now. We have all these celebrity men, white men, who's been getting taken down like Harvey Weinstein and many others, Kevin Spacey. I go down a list of different uh, people. I don't know, what's his name? I'm trying to think. Uh, various news people, Bill O'Reilly. All these people have been taken down. They've been accused of rape and uh, sexual assault and all that shit there from 2000. And uh, Donald Trump even. Even him, Brett Kavanaugh. So multiple men have been accused of shit. I told people with this Me Too movement, once they start taking these white men down, there's not going to be no limits for black men. So they got Bill Cosby. They put him in jail. We don't have to go over Bill Cosby. They took down Tavis Smiley. So now we're going to resurrect shit from back in the 90s and early 2000s. And we're going to turn R. Kelly into this rapist. People work with him from the 2000s and 90s. They kept working with him, collaborating. He write music for them. He's produced. He's made them money. Are they going to give to R. Kelly the money back? Are they going to give them? No, they're not. People say they're not going to use his lyrics. So now we got this fake outrage from blacks that want to be white. They're trying to be like white people. So now they're like, oh, I got daughters. I got all this shit there. So now I can't support uh, R. Kelly. And I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, Elvis Presley. And many other people who's married underage uh, females. But R. Kelly, uh, black people supported him with the piss video. And then now they're backwatering off of him and saying he's this rapist. And I'm going to tell you something. Do I agree with R. Kelly's methods? No. I don't agree with his methods. But check this out. Back in the day, niggas in the hood, they used to fuck with... Uh, you know, I remember fast ass females. They had twenty one year old boyfriends back in the eighties and nineties. I remember they had boyfriends that was twenty five, even thirty. I remember one female I knew. You know, she was like sixteen, fucking with a thirty year old, and niggas didn't give a fuck back then. Niggas didn't look at it as, oh, you're some rapist. You know, you're a rapist. You did this. You did that. Niggas didn't even look at that shit like that. But today, you got SJW individuals that's trying to, you know, trying to condemn. You know, and they're trying to accuse R. Kelly of shit that they really have no facts on. And I'm not defending statutory rape, but in the black community, shit like that went on when I was in school. And so now everybody's so outraged. And, you know, if the chick, and my, my, my opinion is this, if a woman is 18, she could, she could, she could fuck any man of any age. She's not a kid. I've said this before. In many videos. So I, I'm trying to determine the age limit with black people too, by the way. You, you get mad because a nigga is fucking with an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old. I don't think it's nothing wrong with, with dicking down a 21-year-old or a 19-year-old girl, 20-year-old. That's just me. If they're under 18, that's rape. Yes, 16, yo, know, that's off limits. 14, that's off limits. 17 is off limits. 18, she's a woman. She can do what she wants. So if you make consensual choices, you do what you want. These women wanted R. Kelly. They wanted to fuck him. They wanted to have sex with him. And now the shit's exploding. And R. Kelly, yeah. Is R. Kelly a piece of shit? Yeah, he's a piece of shit. I, I say that. But I'm not going to condemn R. Kelly or try to get him banned because you got white men that's doing actual crimes. They're sexually assaulting people. You punish them, so we got to punish other people for old shit. If R. Kelly was going to get punished, it should have been for the piss video, really, and peeing on that little girl. That's when R. Kelly should have been fucked up then. But now you wait, and you got grown women. They try to say, oh, he's a serial rapist. Uh, he ain't no rapist, man. Come on, man. Uh, you know, they, they, R. Kelly, and again, in the hood, back in the day, niggas was 21, 23, 24, sometimes 30. He had 15-year-old girls. Females were fast back then. I blame the parents. For not even watching their fucking kids. I, I remember females sucking and fucking niggas uh, older than them. I remember 14-year-old girls having anal sex back in the day. So, you know, come on, man. 14-year-old girls having anal sex with other with 14-year-old boys. I remember Catholic school girls not doing penetration, but sucking dick in order to um, 
not uh, get penetrated. So I, I remember all kinds of fast shit in the nineties. So I'm a I'm a, a child of the eighties. I went to school in the nineties, so I know how females was back then and all this fake outrage black people stop it i'm gonna continue supporting r kelly regardless i don't give a fuck about these new sjw lgbt homosexuals who's trying to trash r kelly and trying to trash black men like and share this people like like and share this video people peace out